Welcome to the 7 Easy Steps to the FAFSA, a student's guide to the free application for federal student aid. This tutorial is meant to help you complete the 2013-2014 FAFSA. Throughout this tutorial, you will hear us refer to the Help and Hints box on the right-hand side of the screen. This can be a valuable tool in answering any questions you may have. Also, look for the chat feature if you would like assistance from a FAFSA representative. Before completing the FAFSA, you and your parents should register with a Federal Student Aid PIN at www.pin.ed.gov. Your PIN serves as your electronic signature. Your PIN is also used to gain access to your personal records, so you should never share your PIN with anyone. To complete your 2013-2014 FAFSA, you and your parents will need your PIN numbers, Social Security numbers, 2012 Federal Income Tax Returns, as well as current bank and brokerage statements. If you have completed a FAFSA in a prior year, the renewal option will allow you to have some information pre-filled to expedite the application process. Please note that each college, university, and state agency may have their own FAFSA priority filing deadline. You should check the FAFSA homepage for your state's published deadline and contact your financial aid office to check if they institute a deadline as well. Many families do not have their federal income tax returns finalized prior to completing the FAFSA. It's okay to estimate income information on your initial FAFSA and then update the information after you file your tax returns with the IRS. Also, if you have filed your tax returns, you may be able to view and import your tax return information automatically by using the IRS Data Retrieval tool. The FAFSA is free of cost. You should never pay to apply for financial aid or scholarships. Be wary of websites or organizations that charge a fee to assist you with the financial aid application process. To get started, access the main FAFSA page at www.fafsa.gov and click Start a new FAFSA. To begin, enter your name, social security number, and date of birth. This information must match records from the Social Security Administration. You will then be prompted to choose which FAFSA you would like to complete. Next, you will be asked to create a password. This password will allow you to save your application and come back to it if necessary. The introduction page provides helpful topics regarding the FAFSA on the web process. You may select each topic for detailed information and then click Next. You are now ready to begin Step 1, which is demographic information about you, the student. 